Hey, how's it going everybody? It's the Game Economist back with another Dark Souls 3 PvP guide. Today I'll be working with the Great Magic Barrier and it's going to be kind of a shorter guide. There isn't too much to say about it, right? Basically, the information I want to share with you guys is if you know you're going up against a mage, maybe in a tournament, maybe in a ladder match, you want to drop the Tears of Denial on your build and instead bring Great Magic Barrier. For a lot of dark builds, this is a very easy thing to do. And additionally, you want to have blue bug pellets, and you can even think about swapping up your armor. Some of the armor sets get better magic absorption. So, what you'd be most concerned about with using the Great Magic Barrier is if your opponent pretty much just stalled or ran away or tried to use a dual charm, you want to make sure if you see his dual charm coming out, you don't only dodge it, but you punish it. If you punish his dual charm, he will be a lot more hesitant to try another dual charm, okay? So keep an eye out for that. As for stalling, I don't think stalling will work here. The, the problem is he doesn't deal enough damage to punish you on recast. He does deal a little bit of damage on the recast, but if you're using the Belvine Chime, it actually comes out pretty fast. Your other option is actually to poise cast it, right? So you can use a Talisman and you can poise cast Great Magic Barrier so that he can't interrupt it. You just definitely keep it going. Uh, and in that, in that case, probably what the mage will have to do, if he doesn't have affinity on the build, which affinity is not a bad uh, uh, spell, I actually like affinity, but I also don't necessarily believe it's top tier. So if he doesn't have affinity on the build and he doesn't want it on the build, he's going to have to swap down to a dark infusion for his weapon, probably like a dark longsword. And uh, that's probably his best option, but what you've effectively done you've shut down his mage build. He's got an inefficient dark build now, right? If he had an efficient dark build, he would have 30 faith, 30 intelligence, right? Uh, for the for the maximizing of the damage. He doesn't have that because it's a mage build. The other thing is he might give up on his catalyst altogether and bring out a black knight shield. It just depends on what he wants to do, maybe a crossbow. But yeah, so you, you've essentially forced him into a weaker version of his build and you're not even fighting a mage anymore. And you've done that. You've given up tears to do that. Uh, and maybe his plan is to just kind of use his uh, sword and his shield until, uh, I don't know, maybe your, uh, again, your active buff ends. But if you catch him hard swapping back to his mage setup, that's when you recast, okay? So the other thing I want to mention is while you're using Great Magic Barrier, be sure to recast it before it ends. If you let it end all the way and then you try to recast, he really can punish you with his mage spell. So just keep that in mind. And then let's talk a little bit about why you might consider, uh, you know, dropping your Tears of Denial for Great Magic Barrier. Tears of Denial is what we call a passive buff, right? It stays on you the whole match. Uh, it's a health gate, and uh, the way it works, of course, is it brings you down to 1 HP, and then you get 1 HP to keep fighting, right? Is is One of the interesting things about Tears of Denial is how useful it is against poised weapons, how useful it is against uh, a number of, of setups, right? But it's not useful when you're fighting Fire Surge. And that's because Fire Surge just runs right up to you. It's a very easy spell to spam. It does chip damage and that's it. But it's very effective. It's very passive uh, source. Uh, it's a very passive pyromancy, right? Well, it's actually kind of the same way when you're fighting a good sorcerer. He'll have Homing Soul Mass. Uh, he, he'll probably have Great Baron Dart uh, and, and he might have Baron Hail. It just depends on how he built up his mage. But any of those are pretty spammy, they're pretty fast, and he's able to play very passively when you're all out of health. He's able to play very passively with those, break your tears of denial, and get that 1 HP damage on you, or whatever it might be. I assume you have some health to regen, so it might have to be a little more than 1 HP damage that he deals to you, but he's not going to have trouble doing that once he's broken your tears. So actually, being able to pressure your opponent for 70 seconds with Great Magic Barrier active, in my opinion, is much better than just having that tier's health gate when you're fighting a mage. Now, if you're doing random arena, obviously this does not work because in random arena, I would rather have tiers. You don't run into that many mages. And this is probably why tiers has been more popular than Great Magic Barrier. You don't see Great Magic Barrier very often. However, when you're in a tournament or when you're in a, a ladder match where you're allowed to swap your miracles out like that, that's the perfect opportunity to use it. Perfect opportunity. And it's really interesting. It's kind of sad, actually, because uh, 
for mages, you have this miracle called Great Magic Barrier that really does, in my opinion, shut them down. And you don't see an equivalent to this, an equivalent counterspell to Pyromancy or Cleric. So there's, there's like, uh, you've got the, what is it called, like Sweat Flash, that's for the Pyromancy. It only lasts 30 seconds and it doesn't give you that good of absorption. So yeah, it's weird. Uh, mages already weren't, in my opinion, the most competitive of the casters however at the with the use of great magic barrier they're even worse and i feel like as the community realizes how effective you can be with great magic barrier in a tournament fight versus a mage you will see mages become less and less effective they will be forced to use affinity or they will be forced to do hard swapping to things like their dark weapons because the damage absorption is just so high with great magic barrier you can risk recasting it with the poise weapon it's not a big deal they won't deal that much damage to you Alright guys, well I rambled on a bit there like I usually do. I hope you do find the footage useful. I hope you do try out the Great Magic Barrier and I will see you next time.